What's going on guys, Chad CRC back with you here on the channel and you're taking a look at some bout C footage from my ready-made RC recruit long-range vehicle. This is about uh, a little over two and a half miles out but uh, what we're talking about here is we're comparing some antennas. So that was on the setup that I'm running currently which is a three-turn helical and an X-Air cross patch. So this that you're seeing from my long range Proton is running just the Xair patch and the VAS ion. And keep an eye on where I'm at, like right there, and the static and everything, and how much altitude I had to gain in order to uh, sustain a video. You know, most people say this is flyable, it's fine, you know, yeah, you can get through it. But, you know, we're looking for safety, the best FPV experience we can get when we're doing long range. What video is going to give us that? Here's another clip from that same flight. This is me flying about 90 degrees to my position, but I am rotated and the antennas are facing that way. And if you've seen... Uh, videos on my channel you've probably seen me fly there and that's pretty much about the range that I can fly because uh, if we you're looking straight back you see all these trees right there straight ahead and that is where my house is on the other side of those trees so not really getting a whole lot of punch through with that uh, X Air 2 so doing these uh, Wings and INAB and everything like that lately, I decided to dig up some old antennas that I had, which were some three turns and some five turn helicals. So this is with a three turn helical, which gives you a super wide beam and really penetrates well. Um, you can see where I usually would get flicker back there, I didn't, and I'm able to fly at a, a lot lower of an altitude than I have ever been able to. I honestly don't know why I haven't tried these sooner. Uh, they were just kind of laying in the back in the bottom of uh, one of my parts boxes. Um, of course this is you know breaking up and everything here but what am I 25 30 feet off the deck I am downhill shooting through trees and a hill and a house. Definitely breaking line of sight uh, when it comes to the video and I'll show you that right here. So I'm going to kind of dip down in to this field here and kind of turn uh, y'all to the right. And I am shooting through all that right there. And this is about three quarters of a mile out. So that is pretty impressive. And then if we take a look at the same run here with the three turn helical on, um, I haven't tested the five turn yet just because my five turn is a little dodgy, I think. It's a little um, damaged. And so I actually ordered a new one, and that's going to be coming here. It's actually here now, so I'm going to be testing that here soon. But you can see I definitely was able to push this. I was going a little bit slower just because I didn't really know what was going to happen. But I don't even know the distance here. This is a pretty good distance, but. You know, the tree line that I'm shooting through is, um, eh, you know, it's like relatively thick pines, uh, my property there on the side. And, you know, I'm only 40 to 50 yards away from it. So I'm really just standing there pointed straight through. And you can see I'm really going at it there and trying to fly a little bit over here, um, which would be a little bit more uh, to the right side of the beam, maybe at like a 30 degree angle from where I am standing. And coming back in and just shooting through all that stuff and just have really good, clear video. So, and then of course there I am down, standing down there on my porch flying. So, just wanted to kind of throw that out there and uh, you know these antennas are a really good price they're like 17 20 bucks definitely worth uh, checking it out especially for people here in the Midwest and uh, areas where we have tree lines and we need a little bit of extra uh, extra punch through those trees and up and down hills and everything it definitely works and I've actually got it 
permanently mounted on my goggle now with some dual lock right in the center so it's basically just pointing directly wherever I point my head and then I'm still using the X-Air patch just for now uh, but I think I might just end up going with the three turn and five turn when it's all said and done so more testing to come on that so we'll see you guys later